Hello everybody. Do you have some expensive wine that maybe has been aging for a while and you want to make sure you get the best out of it? Or do you typically drink $5 to $20 wines and you want to take that wine to the next level and make it taste expensive? Well, today's the episode for you because using decanters, I'm going to show you how that's possible. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for coffee and wine, how-tos and reviews. If you're new here and you want to learn more about wine or coffee, please consider hitting that subscribe button below and that little bell so you're notified when future videos come out. Alright, with that said and done, let's get to it. Um, generally, there's two uses for decanters. The first one is for older aged wines that uh, typically can build up a lot of sediment. And for that reason, um, you want to get them and sit them out for a while so that sediment could drop. And that's the typical technique. And you slowly pour them into a decanter um, to make sure the sediment stays in the bottle. And you kind of waste a little bit at the end, but you don't get kind of that sandy grittiness um, that you may have experienced if you try drinking an older wine. Um, this decanter right here actually uh, came with this little um, gadget here which helps aerate but also this little filter mesh and that is a great way um, for not having to let uh, worry about making sure the sediment doesn't come out the bottle you can just pour it in normally and it'll catch all the sediment in there um, but the second reason and probably the most common reason to use a decanter is to aerate the wine and that will make your wine uh, if it's young, if it's uh, full bodied, it'll smooth it out and make it taste like a much more expensive wine, especially if it's um, a lower end like Cabernet Sauvignon um, or a Syrah or Shiraz as they say in Australia. What types of decanters are there out there? Well generally they come in either crystal um, or glass and uh, the crystal is obviously more expensive but it's also more durable. Um, besides just the material, the, the shape, um, decanters can come in all different uh, shapes and sizes. And one thing you want to keep in mind is um, the, with some of these crazy shaped decanters, they can be really hard to clean. So keep that in mind when you're looking at a decanter to buy. Um, something with a, a fat bottom like this uh, will have greater surface area to air when the wine is sitting in there than something like this. So if you have a more delicate wine that you're trying to aerate like a Pinot Noir or something like that that's not quite full body, you might want to use something that doesn't quite have as fat of a bottom as this. This is great for um, your Cabernet Sauvignons and your uh, Syrahs and stuff like that. So it would take about 30 minutes to an hour. I usually go up to like two hours with some of these full bodied reds. Um, with this decanter right here to really smooth it out a lot. Um, this one uh, I would use for more delicate reds and um, also with the filter to get out any sediment for older wines. So that's um, the difference in kind of the shapes and there's there's a whole world of art that goes along with decanters. So it's it's got practical purpose and it also looks good. So I mentioned it a little bit before, um, I go one to two hours for full body young red wines such as Cab Sav or Syrah and generally about 30 minutes for something like a Pinot Noir, something that's not quite as uh, full body, something that's more delicate. So in the 30 minute range. One important thing to note is that just as oxygen is good for uh, aerating the wine and getting it smoother. It also has a downside. Too much oxygen will cause oxidation and um, that basically turns your wine to vinegar. So too much oxygen is a bad thing. Uh, if you are decanting your wine, you probably don't want to store it afterward for very long. One hack if you're uh, taking a wine to a party or something like that, especially a red wine, is before you go to the party to pour out the wine into the decanter shake it up rigorously to incorporate oxygen into the wine and then get a funnel and pour the wine back into the bottle 
put the um, cork back in and following whatever state laws or country laws you live in for carrying open alcohol, you might have to put it in the trunk, um, transport it in a way that's legal in your area. But that will have your wine ready to go as soon as you get to that party. Now some people decant uh, white wines and there are certain cases where that would be a good idea, but generally it's far and few between that you'll ever need or want to uh, decant a white wine. So my general advice is don't even worry about it with white wines. Uh, just really focus on it for your reds, particularly stuff that is full bodied. That's pretty much going to do it for how to open up the aromas and the flavors of your wines using decanters and to ensure that you don't get that sediment in your glass. Question for you, write in the comments below, which wine have you decanted that has changed the flavor profile the most? I'm looking forward to reading them. Also, we have a Facebook group, it's Cork and Java, so come on in on Facebook and join the conversation there. We also got a Twitter, it's at Cork Java, so I'm looking forward uh, to interacting with you on Twitter as well as on Facebook. And until next time, bottoms up.